Hey guys, so earlier this year, just a couple months ago, I think, a study was published that linked B12 supplementation to lung cancer, specifically high dose supplementation in men aged 50 to 76. Long term high dose supplementation with vitamins B6 and B12 is associated with a two to four fold increased lung cancer risk in men relative to non-users. Risk was further elevated in male smokers taking more than 20 milligrams of B6 or 55 micrograms of B12 a day for 10 years. Male smokers taking B6 at this dose were three times more likely to develop lung cancer. Male smokers taking B12 at such doses were approximately four times more likely to develop the disease compared to non-users. Again, this is only for men. No correlation was found in women. So while most people are able to meet their B12 needs through their diets, just by getting small, really, really tiny doses throughout the day via meat, eggs, other animal products that they're consuming, obviously vegans don't. We have to meet our B12 needs with synthetic B12, with B12 supplements, and many of us do that by taking high-dose supplements. The Deva Multi, for instance, contains 100 micrograms of B12 per tablet. So should vegans be concerned about taking such high doses, you know, 100 micrograms a day or, you know, 1000 micrograms twice per week? Well, according to vegan RD Jack Norris, the study author had this to say. Please note that the increased risk that we observed was more or less restricted to male current smokers. There is little cause for concern among men, but rather men who smoke and who are taking high doses of B6 and or B12, and that this risk is several times that of men who smoke who do not take high doses of B6 and or B12. That's really not surprising given just how few non-smokers who got lung cancer there were in the study, only 60, too few to be included in the stratified analysis. Making general dietary guidelines based on a sample size of 60 elderly men <laughs> doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, and this is mentioned right in the abstract, they found no association with the kind of lung cancer that's less related to smoking. It's also worth noting that these participants already got a significant amount of B12 from the diet, 7.97 micrograms throughout the day. In other words, the B12 that they were taking was totally unnecessary. They were already meeting their needs and then some from their diet alone. Again, very different situation from what vegans are dealing with. We are getting no B12 from our diet. Our supplements are completely fulfilling that need. So it's totally possible that the supplement alone wouldn't have had this effect. So again, there's really no concern here, no reason to be concerned if you are vegan and you are hopefully supplementing for B12, right? But if you are concerned, if you are concerned about taking uh, more than the you know 55 micrograms per day, you can take lower doses. The Veg1 supplement from the Vegan Society contains only 25 micrograms of B12. Or you could rely on four to five food a couple of times per day instead of taking a tablet. Although this could be a bit trickier, um, it's probably a lot easier to forget eating a certain food twice a day than it is, you know, taking a B12 supplement twice a week or even, you know, taking like the veg one every day or a multi every day. Um, you could change up your diet. Maybe you stop drinking soy milk and you forget that that's how you get your B12 and then you're not supplementing for B12 anymore. Also, with manufacturing and labeling being as unreliable as it is, uh, the amount that it says on the label, the amount of B12 that's supposedly in the product, it may not actually be in the product by the time it reaches you, particularly if you're choosing you know, less well-known brands, less uh, reputable brands, or say you're buying like nutritional yeast out of those clear bulk bins, right? So the B12 has been exposed to UV light, B12 is light sensitive. So if you do want to go the fortified food route, um, it's really important that you eat, again, fortified foods multiple times a day. If you're just having a cup of soy milk in the morning, that's probably not going to cut it. Um, as Jack Norris says, you should be relying on multiple sources. You don't just want to rely on one uh, food for your B12 source. And you need to pay attention to how much you're getting so that you don't accidentally drop a source without replacing it. Which brings me to the main point of this video. If you are vegan, whether you are getting it from a multi, from fortified foods, from a dedicated individual supplement, you need to supplement for B12. Throwing away your B12 tablets or avoiding fortified foods because you're worried about lung cancer is insane. Lung cancer because you took a multi containing 100 micrograms of B12? Extremely unlikely, especially if you don't smoke. But a B12 deficiency because you ate a vegan diet and you didn't supplement for B12? 
guaranteed. However, if you are vegan and you do smoke, then it might be worth it to spread out your B12 throughout the day so that you're keeping your overall dose per day, you know, under the, the 500 micrograms per day. Although if you're really that worried about lung cancer, maybe stop smoking. So that's it for this one. Um, I think it's, this is probably for most of you, you're like, yeah, duh, of course we need to supplement. Obviously this isn't like, whatever. <laughs> the study doesn't really mean anything for, for vegans. It doesn't change anything. But uh, I can see the, the the sort of vegans who are more anti-B12 supplementation, right? Or just wait until you have symptoms and then start supplementing, like the recent Fully Raw Christina video. Um, I can see them possibly viewing this as a, a win, quote unquote, right? Like, see, we were right. You shouldn't just supplement with B12. You should just wait because if you do, you could get lung cancer, right? So yeah, I, I think it's important to to talk about this stuff because unfortunately there are still there are still people who who really don't know how important it is to supplement for B12. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comments and questions down below. If you want to subscribe, that's super cool. If you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Thank you again, and I will have a new video very soon.